Hey guys, welcome to our second video on plotting geospatial data with Python. In our previous video, we had plotted our first interactive map, which looked something like this, wherein we had picked up the coordinates of Bangalore from Google Maps and had plotted a simple basic map of Bangalore. So for our today's video, we are going to learn how we can add markers in various ways to this map. So let me just run these cells once again. So now to add a basic marker to a map, the very first thing that you're going to do is create a marker using the folium.marker class. And let's see how we can create that. I'll use the folium.marker class to declare a marker and to add some coordinates to it. Let me pick them up from Google Maps again. So now let's say I want to check out all the museums around my location. So let me pick up some random museum, let's say Gandhi Bhavan. And here are the coordinates that I'll pick up from here. So to plot this marker on our map, I'm going to add it directly within the square brackets. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a tooltip or a pop up. A tooltip or a pop up is what you are going to see when you either hover over the marker or when you click upon this marker. So let's add a pop up here with the name Gandhi Bhavan. And now the next thing that I need to add this marker to a map is to use the add to map function. So I'm going to call upon add to function here and call upon our base map, which is M. And then I'm going to call upon my map. So this right here is our Gandhi Bhavan. And upon clicking upon it, you'll be able to see the name which we've provided within the pop up. So that looks pretty great out here. But you'll also notice that this is a simple blue marker, which does not directly show us anything or state anything just by looking at the marker. So what we can do now is we are going to change the color and the icon of this marker to make it a little more self explanatory. So let's go ahead and see how we can change the icon and the color of a marker. Let's declare a map once again. and mention the location coordinates. Let me just pick this up from here. And maybe also set a zoom level of about eight. And let's see what does my map look like right now. Now I want to add this marker, which states the presence of a museum called Gandhi Bhavan on this map and also make it a little more axiomatic. So to do that, I'm going to change the icon and I can change the icon and the color of this marker using folium.icon. So let's add our marker right over here. We'll again call upon folium.marker. Add the location, which we will pick up from here. Now to change the icon color and the way our icon looks, we can simply use the icon argument and call upon folium.icon function. Within this you can provide arguments like color and icon. And for color you can simply google what all colors do folium provides. So let's Google folium colors and you'll have a list of colors. So let's pick up white or beige or something. Let's just say white. <clears throat> this is what our marker looks like, but I don't think white is a great choice of color. So let's just pick up some other darker color. And to also change the icon type, you can simply Google search which all icon types to Folium provides, which I've opened up right over here. So for our museum, let me just pick up this home type icon from here. And I'll just copy the icon name and put it within the icon argument here. Let me also make this look a little better. And let's just call upon M. 
So I'm not sure why light gray is not showing up, but I think there's some sort of an error. But either ways, we now have a different color. So let's just actually make this red and call this again. And we have our first museum with the icon shape of something like a museum. And if you click upon it, you'll also be able to see the name of the museum. So now you can go ahead and add other markers to your map. For example, other places to visit like a zoo or maybe a shopping complex, anything that you have in mind. So for now, let's go ahead and see how we can add these markers explicitly. That is while hovering over a map and clicking at a certain space. So how we can do that is by using the foliums add child method. So we'll call upon our map, which is M and we'll use the add child method here. And in this case, because we are plotting markers, we'll use the folium dot click for marker. And we'll also add a pop up to it. So you can always go ahead to foliums documentation and see other things you can add on the map. For example, after this, we'll also see how you can add pop ups of latitudes and longitudes. So now because we are adding markers on a map, we'll be using the click for marker method of folium. And because we have to call it with the help of folium, I'll just add folium here. And we can also add other things like a pop up. So let's add a pop up here and call it new places I want to explore. And let's go ahead and call our map. Now, if you go around your map, you'll be able to put up new markers of places that you want to explore. And upon clicking upon these markers, you'll also be able to see the pop up that we've added, which is new places I want to explore. So you can also always go on to volumes documentation and see other ways to add different things to your map. So for example, within the add child option, you can also add the latitude and longitude pop up, which will look something like this. Volume.latitude longitude pop up. And we can again call upon our map. And now we have it. And because we have not removed this option from our map, we will still be able to plot new markers along with finding out the latitude and longitude. Even though when you click upon a certain marker, you will be able to see the pop up that we have stated previously. But if we were not to add the click for marker option, we would be able to see only the latitude and longitude of a certain space that we're trying to click on. So now we have covered up how we can add markers, how we can change the style of our markers. And we've also seen how we can go around our map, seeing the latitude and longitude of a certain space or adding explicit markers while surfing through a map. The last thing that we're going to cover in today's video is going to be highlighting a certain area with the help of different shapes. For example, a circle. We're going to add a circular shaped area in our map with the help of circle and circle marker only to highlight in or highlight a certain space in your map. So let's see how we can go ahead with this. Let me call upon our base map once again, which was this right here. And now to add a circle, I'm going to use folium.circle and provide other arguments like radius, color, um, location, because obviously it needs to start off with a certain latitude and longitude as the center and whether I want to fill this up or not. And I think that's it. And then later I'll just add all of this to our map using the add to map function. So let's go ahead and fill up all the arguments. First, we'll need to correct the indentation. For radius, I'm going to say 500. Then we have color. Let's make the color blue. Now, for location, let us pick up this area or let's pick up Indian Music Experience Museum. Again, correcting the indentation, adding the coordinates. Always remember you're supposed to add all the coordinates within square brackets. Let's also add the fill argument to true because I want it to be filled. And I'll just fix this. And now let's call upon our map function once again. Okay, so I have written the wrong spelling of circle. Let's just correct that. And now you'll be able to see a circle upon zooming in on the map. So let's also correct the zoom level. 
let's make it a little more zoomed in let's make this 14 and hopefully now you should be able to see let's make it 14 and let's also make the central coordinates of our map equivalent to our central coordinates of the circle let's just run this and yep there we go we have a circle now upon zooming in and zooming out the size of the circle is going to remain the same so if i want the circular area to increase or decrease depending upon the zoom level of my map i'll have to use a different function called circle marker which can be used for a different purpose for example in this case this is to highlight a very specific area in the map but if I were to use the folium.circle marker function, it's going to increase and decrease with the zoomed in and zoomed out level of my map. So it is majorly to differentiate a certain area, not to point out at it, but to highlight a certain area across zoom levels of a map. So let's see how does that work. I'll call upon folium.circle marker function. I'm sorry, this is a little tricky to pronounce, but circle marker. And upon calling it, Let's first add the radius, which is, let's say, 500 again. And after that, I'm going to add the color, which is going to be this time, let's say, green. And now I'm going to add the location. So location, this time can be somewhere around it, just to have a more clearer comparison. We highlighted this area, so let's just pick up coordinates of this mall right here. And after adding the location, we can see whether I want to fill this up or not. Maybe this time I'll not fill it up. So let's make it false. And now we can just add this to our map using the dot add to map function. So now let's see what do we have. Well, if you see, we have a we have quite a large circle which is not even visible to us unless and until we highlight it. So I think we'll have to reduce the radius to let's make it 50 and let's see. So now this is the area that I was highlighting and for a circle marker, the area of the circle will keep on increasing and decreasing depending upon the zoom in and zoom out of the map. So both the markers will have different applications when you're actually plotting something. So now we've pretty much covered quite a lot on how you can make your maps not just interactive but also more informative by adding different types of markers of different colors and icons and adding shapes of different sizes and patterns to highlight a certain area in your map. With the right use of these markers and shapes, you can come up with very, very informative maps. So that is all that we had for today's video. In our next video, we are going to be looking at tile style. So you must have noticed that all the maps that we've done so far have the same type of pattern. And sometimes depending upon our need, we might need a different kind of map with a different tile style. And a different tile style will simply convey a different kind of information. For example, in this case, we are seeing all the roads and highways, but in different tile styles, we will be able to see the different structure of a certain city. So stay tuned to see what type of tile styles does Folium provide to get different kind of information out of a map. So I'll see you in the next video.